everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So today we will talk about Glasgow Coma Scale. So it is usually done in the patient of head injuries. It has three components. That is, first is eye opening. First is eye opening. Second is verbal response. Third is motor response so uh, each component has been given few uh, scores maximum scores uh, so for eye opening the maximum score is 4 for eye opening it's 4 for verbal response it's 5 for motor response it's 6 so we'll remember it by EVM 4 5 6 will remember it by EVM 4, 5, 6. So total in maximum we will have 4 plus 5 plus 6 that is 15 maximum scoring. And the minimum here is 3 as each component that is eye opening, verbal response, motor response have the minimum score 1 for them. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 that is the minimum. So these were the 3 components uh, maximum 15 points, minimum 3 points. So now let's talk about the individual components. So first we have eye opening. So here we, I will, uh, I also have this uh, inside that what is, how it is uh, done, assessed and the outcomes and the scores. So if the patient is doing a spontaneous eye opening, we give it as E4 that is without any help he or she is opening his eyes without any help. So it is E4. Suppose he is opening eyes to speech like we will ask him hello open your eyes and then he is listening and hand responding and then opening his eyes so it is E3. Suppose we are uh, squeezing or his trapezius or giving a supraorbital pressure and then on the pain he or she is opening his eyes or her eyes then it is E2 and if there is no response that is no eye opening it is E1. So this was E1, 2, 3, 4 in eye opening so in eye opening we have one two four that i have already mentioned that maximum is four and minimum is one so eye opening then next we have verbal response next we have verbal response so once again the same way uh, suppose we ask him the, do you know what month it is do you know what who are you where are you can we tell your name if he's very well oriented then he will give a very well verbal response so it is v5 that is oriented that is a normal speech i'll say better way suppose uh, he is or she is giving some full coherent sentences that's speaking some sentences but not very well oriented might be some sometimes confused suppose uh, random words he is speaking out of context for example abusing or the attended nurse or someone so it is v3 that is words suppose uh, he or she is giving some uh, noises or making some sounds it is v2 example grunting moaning etc example grunting moaning oh uh, okay are you listening me mm, like that something like that so it is uh, v2 and if it is no there is no verbal response it's v1 so for verbal response we have one two five now next we will talk about motor response so motor response is a bit difficult to understand so just pay your most attention right now suppose uh, will he is obeying a command that is we'll ask we'll ask him so this is a table we have uh, images for the further uh, responses so first suppose we'll ask him to grip a finger or make a fist and he is obeying your command then he can do everything what we are saying so m6 that is obeys command if he is localizing the pain it is m5 suppose we are giving him pressure and asking you just localize the pain where you have the pain is uh, doing it so it is m5 if it is a flexion or withdrawal to pain suppose we are giving him some pain and he's like this this is normal flexion right so flexion or withdrawal to pain is m4 and localizing the pain like we have pressured him or pinched him on trapezium and he's localizing his pain so it is m5 and m4 is flexion this is the flexion normal flexion or withdrawal to pain further it's m3 that is abnormal flexion to pain that is 
adduction and internal rotation of upper limb and extension of lower limb lower limb i cannot show you here and so m2 is extension to pain that is see here we can see the abnormal flexion to pain that is abnormal flexion to pain that is adduction and internal rotation of upper limb like something awkward kind of upper limb and flexion of uh, extension of lower limb you know? so this is m3 and extension to pain is m2 and if there is no nothing is not obeying any command cannot do anything it is m1 that is no motor response so for glasgow comma scale uh, we have this we i told you already we do it for head injuries so if the glasgow comma scale is 13 to 15 it is mild head injury if it is moderate that is 9 to 12 moderate head injury if it is less than 8 it is severe head injury that is 3 is the minimum score so 3 to 8 is severe head injury less than 8 can be a comatose patient and uh, 3 is usually a dead patient that is you cannot do anything you consider him you usually as dead him or her or as dead patient suppose now let's do some questions suppose there is a 35 year old male and a 35 year old male his eye his opening on painful his eye is opening on painful stimulation so it is e2 abusing doctor that is inappropriate words v3 and abnormal extension m2 abnormal extension that is extension on pain so 2 plus 3 plus 2 is total 7 so the gcs here is 7 suppose the now let's take another example this was gcs 7 suppose the patient is 20 year old female okay the next question next patient 20 year old female eye opening on verbal command that is she is, she is listening us and verbal command e3 incomprehensive sound v2 and abnormal flexion is m3 this was the abnormal flexion so 3 plus 2 plus 3 is total 8 so the gcs here is 8 so this was all about glasgow coma scale the three components that is e v m right uh, head injury it is done in head injury to assess the severity of head injury usually so three components eye opening verbal response motor response four five six are the maximum score maximum score total can be 15 minimum it is three E1, E1234, V1234, 5, M1234, 5, 6. Everything explained. Uh, we can see the video again. And uh, the, the severity, if it is less than 8, it is usually comatose patient. And 13 to 15 is uh, mild head injury. 9 to 12 is moderate head injury. And less than 8, that is 3 to 8, is severe head injury. And usually the patient with 3 GCS is considered as a dead patient. So that was all about Glasgow Coma Scale I have to speak about. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Medi Simplified. Thank you.